Hey friends, it is me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have what will hopefully turn into a pretty adorable video because my little puppy, and by little I mean massive puppy, will be making an appearance. If you guys are new here or if you just don't know, I have a pit bull, but not just any pit bull. I have a 90 pound blue nose pit bull who is quite the aggressive chewer. Because he is such an aggressive chewer, it is so hard to find toys for him. Like honestly, nine out of 10 toys that we purchase for Jax, he rips apart and destroys and tears apart within five minutes of having it. And Pitbull toys, aggressive chewer toys are so dang expensive. They are always upwards of like $20 to sometimes $35. So watching him rip them apart in front of my eyes within like five to ten minutes it kind of it kind of like breaks my heart a little bit so i ended up doing a lot of research online i went to lots of different websites lots of different forums and i looked up a bunch of different lists of the best indestructible pitbull toys not necessarily just for pitbulls but the best indestructible toys for dogs now on these websites i looked for the ones that would show up in multiple lists i actually read the reviews from consumers and i pretty pretty much think I made a semi decent list and I ended up buying all of them on Amazon so I will link all the toys that I'm going to be showing you in this video in the description below we're just gonna like test some of them out and see if they are indestructible now I have a little bit of like a scale when it comes to dog toys a terrible toy in my eyes in my personal opinion is a toy that will be broken apart ripped apart or teared apart within five to ten minutes those are just like absolute garbage nobody has time for that nobody has money for those a like mm, kind of decent toy not terrible toy not great toy will last a couple of hours a good toy will last like a week or so and a great toy will last months plural between like one to three months some of them indefinite so i read upon all these toys and they're all supposed to be great toys they're supposed to be indestructible and they're supposed to last for months they're supposed to never be able to be broken down for months and months and months the dog should still have this toy they were kind of pricey i think i spent like 150 dollars on all these toys total but if they will last a long time it will be totally worth it so if you guys have any other questions and concerns after watching this video just ask them in the comments below and without further ado we're gonna test some toys we're gonna start this video off very very strong we are going to start off with the holy grail of indestructible dog toys in my personal opinion i am not going to be testing this dog toy out and i don't know why i keep saying me because i'm not testing anything out but i'm not going to have Jax test this toy out because i already know from personal experience that this toy is amazing it is the best indestructible toy out in the game again in my personal opinion it is the busy buddy this one specifically is the treat holding bristle bone longer lasting playtime and it is pet safe i love this i cannot put into words how much i love this i want to say this one was like 25 dollars. i know it was under 30 dollars best $25 I have ever spent. I'm gonna show you the other two that I have from previous months that, I mean, they're not in mint condition, but they're definitely still doing their job. This is the toy that Jax navigates to the most. He is obsessed with it. So this is what it looks like in mint condition. Again, you can get it on Amazon and I will link it below. And this is what it looks like several months later. So it is definitely destroyed definitely doing its job definitely not in mint condition anymore but it still works so they have this one and then i've also purchased this one in the past this one has more like a rubber ball right in the center and then it has tiny little spokes at the end they are very scratched apart very broken apart very ripped apart but they have not been destroyed these are in Incredible. Now this one specifically I would just like to put out a little disclaimer This one made Jack's bleed at first because it has bristles that are meant to like clean the jaws and everything and clean the teeth 
So he did bleed the very first time. I let him have it one more time. He hasn't bled since. So I think it was just like brand new for him and he got so excited that he just like went full force on this and he did end up bleeding. It was very, very tiny. We cleaned it right up. It wasn't like gushing blood. It was just a couple little drops of blood. But after the second time, he didn't bleed at all. They also give you these little, I think they're like rawhide treats. They're like little circular discs that you can put on here. He ripped those apart within like two minutes, but the actual toy itself, oh, this one, let me tell you guys, get this one. I'm just, I'm in love. I cannot say enough good things about this. Pet Safe or Busy Buddy, if you're watching this, sponsor Jax, please, because he loves you guys. The second toy I am also not going to be testing out because it is another toy that I know works really, really well. These two toys are like my top toys along with a couple of the Kong toys that I will be showing you in this video. I'm not gonna be showing you the ones that I've tested out before, but I'm gonna be showing you some Kong products and everybody knows that Kong products are really, really, really awesome for indestructibility. So this one is the Nyla Bone Choose Best Long Lasting Ridges and Nubs to Help Clean Teeth flavored throughout Dur Chew Power Chew, and this one is in the original flavor. Again, I'm not going to test it out. I will give to Jax. I will show you his reaction when he actually gets this toy, but I know that this one works really, really well. After about like three weeks to a month, you'll definitely notice that all of the ridges are dulling down, and they definitely have like mar bark, mi bark mites on it. That doesn't even make sense. Chew bites and chew marks on it that is what i was trying to say and you'll see that it kind of gets a little rougher around the edges just because they are chewing on it so much but it does not break in half it does not like rip in half you're not going to find the plastic pieces everywhere that is one big thing that i hate about indestructible toys or toys that are supposed to be indestructible after like an hour you'll just find like pieces everywhere this one is not one of those types of toys it won't rip apart but it will definitely dull down after time Do you hear him in the background? He's with Adam outside of the room right now and he is just chomping on that toy. He like really, really likes that toy. Not, <laughs> not as much as the Busy Buddy, but he really likes that toy a lot as well. So the next one that we're actually going to test out, I don't have very high hopes for because it is a rubber based toy and all of the rubber based toys he always just gets like chunks of them and rips it off and then they're all over the house but i will say this gonuts.com it looks like a little donut a gonut donut don't know what that means the packaging game is not very strong but this one was on the top of like almost every single person's list for indestructible toys. This one actually beat out Kong, which is very surprising because again, Kong is known for like their super, super hard based toys that will last forever. But this one was on top of like all of the lists. So we're gonna give Jax this little go nut donut. I'm taking this thing off, like look at this thing. This was so expensive. It's literally a hard piece of like rubber, almost plastic like material in the shape of a donut. I don't know off the top of my head how much this was, but I know it was more than $20. What even? Like, why? Why? I think this is the most excited Jax has ever been for me to film a video. Do you want new toy bubbies? You gotta give me paws. Sit down, give me paw. Good boy, give me the other paw. Good boy, you ready for a new toy? Are you ready for a new toy? You better love it. Oops, you better love it. Are you gonna love it? Are you gonna love it? Let's see. Oh boy, it's a donut, mommy. It's a rubber flavored donut.
he's he's getting into it. The test is if the rubber pops off within five to ten minutes. Fashion. I don't think he really knows how to like hold it. Bubby, that was very expensive. You gotta love it. I mean, so far so good. He hasn't ripped any plastic off yet. Good boy. Are you going nuts for your going nut? He doesn't seem as invested as the other toy. Sure, you can use my pillow, buddy. No big deal. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since I introduced this toy, and I have to say I am not loving it. Not worth the price. I guess it's still in like decent condition, but it has only been 10 minutes, and as you can see on the rubber areas, some of these areas he kind of like poked holes in with his teeth, and you can tell the more that he bites it, it's just going to rip in half. I basically had to force him to play with this toy. This is just my experience. I'm sure other dogs love it, but he wasn't like full-fledged excited to play with this one like other toys, like the previous toy that I just showed you, the clip where he was using the, I think it's in the Nylabone, and he was just like all in it to win it. This one I had to basically like keep putting in his mouth. I don't know if it's the shape of it. It is very, very, very heavy as well compared to his other toys. This is like the heaviest toy he's ever played with before. So I don't know if that threw him off, but and I'll show you right over here. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully it will focus. But he kind of like started biting into it. And although it didn't rip straight through, you can tell that he's already putting markings in it. I don't know. I don't think that this one is worth the money, but that's just, again, my personal opinion. Might work great for other dogs. Maybe in like a week or so, Jax will come around to it. I'm going to, of course, keep it because I already paid for it. And I'm gonna put it in his like little dog toy bin and maybe down the road he'll end up loving it but he's just he's not loving it right now next up we're gonna test out the Benny bone this is the return of flavor bacon flavor wishbone this is the medium size wishbone for under 60 pounds I swear I ordered the one for 60 to 90 but maybe that was my mistake it should still work just fine this looks like a hard plastic wishbone it doesn't smell like anything but i'm sure to a dog they're going to smell like all the bacon goodness this one looks like super super sturdy so this is what it looks like it just looks like a wishbone i mean there's not really much to it but let's see if Jax finds it to be appealing Best life right now, please. Living his <laughs> best dang life right now. You don't cue. I love you. I love you. We love you. So I would just like to point out that it has only been about seven minutes. And as you can tell, this side is the side that he has been chewing on and there are chew marks all over it. Some of like the hard plastic, I know this is like torture for him to eat. Some of the hard plastic is starting to like, I don't wanna say rip apart, but come apart from the actual toy. So just keep that in mind. He does really seem to like this one a lot though. And I don't think this one was super expensive. So it's kind of a win. My hair is getting like poofier and poofier with each and every clip that I film. I'm not exactly sure what is going on with it. It's at that weird stage where it's like trying to grow and it's hitting my shoulder. So it's kind of like flipping out on the bottom and then it's just poofing out all over. You know what? We've accepted it. We're moving on. Let's check out this next toy. It is not necessarily a toy and it is definitely not something that I would just leave Jax alone with to play with because it is a rope and Jax is known for like 
swallowing ropes. I think a lot of pit bulls are known for like swallowing ropes because they rip apart them so much and they're breathing so heavy that they just like breathe in and then the little pieces get ingested inside of their body. I've known plenty of pit bulls that had to get surgery done because they were just playing with these, ripping them apart and then ingesting them. So I would never use this as a toy, but this was one of like the top ropes on all of those lips, lips, lists. This is the Mammoth Flossy Chew. I would use this more for like tug of war, just to like tie your jacks out a little bit and get some of his energy out. This one is the Toss, Tug and Floss. Apparently it's like really good for dental hygiene as well. So again, I wouldn't use this as a toy, but I would use this as like a stimulant to just like kind of get his energy out and just have a little bit of fun with him. So let's test it out. He's a kid, he just wants his other toy. <laughs> nope, that's way too much work for me, Daddy. Review, he likes the bacon bone. Oop, looks like he likes the rope too. Nope, the bacon bone. Remember when I said Jax was lazy? Anything that takes a lot of energy out of him, he's not about that life. I feel like this video has been a massive success so far. The next toy, I already know Jax is going to love it. And of course, with me saying that, he'll probably hate this one the most. This is the West Paw Love It Guarantee Chew Jive with Zogo Flex. I don't know what that means, but I do know that Jax loves destroying tennis balls. You give him a tennis ball and he will sit there maybe four minutes completely destroyed he likes the shape of anything like spherical he loves chewing on it he absolutely loves the kong balls that are about this size those are more hollow this one seems a little bit more solid at first when i was purchasing it i thought i was going to get like two things in one i was going to get a chew toy and also something that i can play fetch with but this is very 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 heavy and i think i'd be a little bit skeptical throwing this at Jax in case it hits him. It is very, very heavy. Not that it would do anything if it hit him because his head is like 50 pounds alone, but you guys get the point. So I'm gonna open this one up. This is again from West Paw. And we're gonna see if Jax likes it. He's obsessed with that bacon bone. If you can hear him in the background, he is like ripping it to shreds right now, but it is not breaking apart because it is pretty instructable, but he really, really likes that toy. After all of the shots that I've been filming, all of the clips, that is the one that he keeps going back to. So now let's see if he likes this one. Thanks, Jax. That's exactly what the world wants to see. Yep. Lovely. Yeah, I'm a lazy dog and I'm a fat dog. I'm an out of shape dog. I would say this one's a success. Mommy, stop filming me. And last, but definitely not least, we're going to end with a crowd pleaser. This is the Kong Goody Bone Toughest Natural Rubber, and this one is for power chewers. I have never tried the bone shape out before i usually always get like the kong is like the cone it kind of makes a cone like shape and you can like stuff treats in it or put peanut butter in it he loves those absolutely loves those but he does get bored with them after like a month or so which is a good thing because they definitely last for like months and months and months 
but I've never tried the bone shape before and I feel like he might like this shape a little bit more. So this one is allowed to insert treats right over here and right over here and right over here to extend playtime. Unfortunately, Jax did a really good job this morning. He gets like chronic ear infections, so we have to go in like once a week and like literally scrape the gunk out of his ears and he hates it, but he did a really good job today. So we ended up giving him all the rest of the treats that we had. So I don't have any more treats, but we're still gonna try out the actual toy. I'm sure the treat thing works fine. I just don't have any at the current moment. So this is what it looks like. I got the size large. And this one is to entertain and satisfy power chewers. And this is recommended by Vets Worldwide. Stay. 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 Not yet, puppies. Gotta wait. Practice our manners. Stay. Good boy, go. Good boy, waiting. Good job using your listening ears. All this playtime is pooping him out. He's never played with this many toys in one day. So I think he's a little tired, but still quite a happy little pup pup. That was a big bite. Oh, this one's making me a little nervous. I feel like he's just gonna rip that bone part off. Let's find out together, shall we? Still good. Still good. Good job, Bubbies. And good job, Kong. Well made. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank the good people of the internet for compiling such incredible lists. They are very helpful for people, especially like myself, who are not power chewer dog toy enthusiasts. But those lists were everything. And I have to say all the toys minus the go nut donut type of toy, which I still think in time Jax will come to love all the toys Jax really seemed to enjoy and they didn't break apart within 10 minutes. So score on that one. If you guys are again interested in getting any of these toys for your dogs, I will link all of them in the description below. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.